There were two orders of heroes. They've been fighting each other for centuries. Like Ben Diesel and The Rock. I will destroy this planet. Oh, great, the Winter Soldier. So nice when diabolical evil lives up to the height. Oh, I think we lost him. Nope, he's not lost. He's very not lost. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, only in theaters April 8th. All right, what's up, guys? Okay, so the final trailer of Sonic Movie 2 came out, and uh, it's looking really hype, really hype. Like, this movie just looks better and better. I cannot wait for this movie to come out, and I'm going to try to see it early, man. Like, it's coming out, like, March 31st in the UK and some countries like that in Europe. So I'm going to make sure I see it first, no matter what. If I have to fly, travel over to the UK, I will. Make sure you hit that notification bell, guys, because March 31st, you're going to be seeing some spoilers on my channel. So if you don't want to see that, make sure to stay clear. But I'm going to show if Shadow is really in the movie or not. Anyway, I want to talk about the final trailer, Sonic Movie 2, and also what we could be seeing in the Knuckles the Kidna TV series that's coming out next year. But before I get into that, be sure to smash that like button comment subscribe all that good stuff also hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode i upload let's see if we can get to 100,000 subscribers before sonic frontiers comes out because i was supposed to hit 100k subs last year now if i hit my goal before sonic frontiers comes out i'll be doing a special giveaway two giveaways of sonic frontiers to anyone watching so it's been a while it's been several years since i've done free giveaways and stuff like that but i'm going to bring that back if i hit my goal this year for 100,000 subscribers it can be giveaways of sonic frontiers or origins if that comes out or whatever i mean i would say sonic movie 2 but everyone would have already watched it by then so yeah but anyway, so, as you know, a lot of people will react to the final trailer of Sonic Movie 2, and a bunch of Sonic Tubers did. So what did I do? I watched a lot of non-Sonic Tubers. <laughs> I mean, for real though, you know, when it comes to the Sonic movie and the sequel, I actually get more entertainment watching the opinions and reactions from uh, non-Sonic fans or non-Sonic tubers. Like, you can be a Sonic fan, but not a Sonic tuber, because it's like, I don't know why it's surprising to some people when I tell them that I don't really watch Sonic tubers like that, only for a select few. In general, I don't watch Sonic tubers because I'm also a Sonic tuber. It's like telling an actor, hey, do you watch movies that you're in? Most actors don't like watching themselves in movies or something like that. I, I know that's not a great uh, example, but you guys get what I'm talking about. It's like, we all do the same thing. We all talk about Sonic. My sub list is mostly filled with film tubers, movie news, other types of videos, you know, about like lifestyle, health, fitness, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so let's get into this. Now, I didn't know the writers of Sonic Movie 2 were the same writers of the Lego Batman movie, and that movie was great. So that only means Sonic Movie 2 is going to be awesome. This is going to be a banger. Like, even Yuji Naka was impressed by the poster. Uh, you know, the poster that was basically inspired by Sonic the Hedgehog 2 video game. Like, it's crazy. It's like, this is like Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the movie based on the video game. It's like 30 years in the making. It's awesome, you know? I can't wait for them to do one of Sonic and Knuckles. Like, that'll be epic. I don't know if they're going to do that, you know, after the movie comes out or for Sonic Movie 3. I don't know. But yeah, the marketing for this film has been stellar. It has been A1. This is the best marketing for anything Sonic I have ever seen in my life. Now, I would say Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, the video games, had great marketing. But I was like a toddler. I was barely a toddler. So I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> but as far as my lifetime in the 21st century, this is the best marketing for anything Sonic. Like when people are saying, oh, I hope Sega can do this same marketing with Sonic Frontiers, uh, Sonic Team needs to take notes. It's like, guys, guys, Sega doesn't even have the budget to do this kind of marketing because you have to spend a lot of money to promote and market your property. And Sega just does not have that kind of money Paramount has. So just don't even expect for Sonic Frontiers to have this kind of marketing. Like, they'll have to go back in time to the 90s to do the same type of marketing they did for Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 that Paramount's doing for Sonic 2 movies. So it's, it's crazy. Like, and you know what Yuji Naka said was that, you know, Sonic 2 was a huge commercial success at the time, back in 1992. So I hope Sonic Movie 2 is also gonna be a huge commercial success. You know, just like what Naka said. 
I have a feeling, like I said, the box office for this movie is going to be doubled than the first movie's box office. Now, there are some rumors I've been hearing about this movie, like Amy Rose. Is Amy Rose going to be in Sonic Movie 2? Honestly, no. I highly doubt she's going to be in this movie. There's already a lot of stuff going on. If Amy's going to be in the Sonic movie, she's going to be in the third movie. But it's cool that uh, Dr. Robotnik kind of gets like powerful from the Green Emerald, the Master Emerald, whatever you want to call it. So I didn't know that he actually uses his power to create the Death Egg robot. Because if you notice in the trailer, he's like pulling apart helicopters, trains and cars. So he's going to use all those scraps to build, literally build the Death Egg robot, which is awesome because it's like, look, we all know Dr. Robotnik has a 300 IQ, he's a genius, but to build something like that would take ages. So it's just a great, you know, excuse for, oh, actually he got powered by the Emerald and he used that to like magically build the robot instantly. That'll make a lot of sense, especially that, you know, Dr. Robotnik comes back to Earth from when he gets exiled to the Mushroom World. So it will make sense how he can build that in such a short amount of time. And it looks like this movie takes place over a few couple of days or maybe a day or two. I don't know. You know, with Sonic things always move very fast during a whole day like a lot happens in a day is what I'm saying because it's Sonic and now another thing that I did not read in the leaks back then in November but a lot of people have been talking about and they say McDonald's accidentally leaked this Super Sonic now while I'm not sure if Super Sonic is going to make an appearance in Sonic movie 2 it just makes sense Super Sonic's first appearance with Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the game. So it would make sense for there to be Super Sonic in this movie, right? But we haven't seen any Chaos Emeralds. We're just seeing that same green emerald, most likely the Master Emerald. So I don't know how they're going to play into the Super Forms in this movie. Maybe they'll have the Chaos Emeralds. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, now let's talk about the Knuckles TV show that's going to come on Paramount Plus next year. Now, I think it's safe to say that the Knuckles series is going to take place after Sonic Movie 2, so this is going to serve as more of a prequel to Sonic Movie 3, because, you know, there's going to be a lot for them to cover between Sonic Movie 2 and Sonic Movie 3 as they're trying to build a whole world and universe. And if the leaks are true, Sonic combines his uh, alien anthro world with the human world, so there's going to be a lot more creatures in Sonic Movie 3. So what better way than to have a show that will introduce all of that? And since, according to the leaks, Gun, G-U-N, creates Shadow, Shadow is not going to be a creation from Gerald Robotnik. I don't even think Dr. Robotnik's grandfather is going to be in the series because if you guys realize, Sonic Movie 1, Dr. Robotnik has no clue that creatures like Sonic exist until he sees Sonic. That's not the case in the games. So I think they're going to do things a little different. I have a feeling Gun is going to create Shadow as a countermeasure against Robotnik and his minions. Because Robotnik is going to create Metal Sonic. Whether that'll be in the climax or the ending, I'm thinking that'll be in the very end, like before the movie ends. Because there's already a lot going on and Death Egg Robot is already way more than Sonic can handle. So I don't think they're going to add Metal Sonic into the mix. But I think Gun is going to create Shadow to counter Dr. Robotnik's Metal Sonic. And Gun needs something that's as powerful or more powerful than Sonic to answer to the government because, you know, Sonic is a free agent. He, he answers to no one. So that's what I think Gun is going to do. And also, I think the government or Gun are going to hire like Chaotix, you know, to help them investigate some stuff and they might work with Knuckles. So I think we're going to see the Chaotix in the Knuckles TV show, kind of like Knuckles Chaotix. And if you guys realize, these movies are really paying homage to the classics. You know, Sonic 1, 2, 3, and also Knuckles Chaotix. I mean, we're going to get Sonic CD references maybe in this movie, maybe in the third one. So I'm pretty sure they're going to also have some references to Knuckles Chaotix. And what better way than to show the Chaotix? And it makes sense for Chaotix to be in the TV series since, you know, the worlds have been merged at the end of Sonic Movie 2, according to the leaks. I think Knuckles is going to meet Rouge in the TV series because, as you guys know, in Sonic Adventure 2, Rouge doesn't really get introduced, just... She's already seen with Knuckles and Knuckles already knows who she is, that she's a treasure a hunter, a spy, all that stuff. So that'll be cool. She's introduced in the Knuckles TV show. How will they make Rouge? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if they'll play into her sex appeal or think they'll tone it down since these are family friendly films. I don't know. But yeah, so what will be the plot of the Knuckles TV show? I'm not sure. You know, maybe it'll be him looking for the pieces of the Master Emerald. Maybe it gets broken at the end of Sonic Movie 2 or gets shattered and Knuckles' job is to find all the pieces and guard it or something like that. Who knows? So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. How do you think Sonic Movie 2 is going to end? How do you think 
Knuckles TV show is going to be like? What do you think the plot's going to be? Do you think we're going to see the chaotic Rouge in that? And also, do you agree with my theory that Gun is going to create Shadow while Dr. Robotnik creates Metal Sonic? Stick around for all the news and updates I will make of this movie as the weeks go by. So yeah, I cannot wait. The Sonic movie franchise is literally holding us over this Sonic drought. So I'm very thankful for that. But alright guys, that's all for now. So take care. And until next time, I'm out.